Tyco Center Flow Hoppers. We'll start with 358A Kellogg's. Catalog from 1972 to 1982. There are two variations on this car. This is the first variation. The variation will be where it reads for breakfast American style. On the second variation, the B for in breakfast is the red letter as is the A in American. And I'll have an example of that coming up in just a minute. This is also 358A Kellogg's Hopper. If you notice the breakfast American style has the red letters at the beginning, whereas the first one you just seen previously was in blue. This version here is the more rare version, less common. First version Kellogg's Hopper in the foreground and the rare version in the background. Next in the Center Flow series by Tyco, this is mint in my collection. 358B Morton Salt cataloged in 1972 beginning and ending in 1982. Don't know of any variations on this one as I have it one in my collection, but if you have one, feel free to comment. Next in the Tyco Center Flow Series Hoppers is 358C Domino Sugar, introduced in the 1975-1976 Tyco catalog, but please note it was not in the 1976 edition Tyco catalog. Just another note about these cars, the Domino Sugar logo is bad to peel off or flake over time. This one's still in good shape. Has a little bit of cracking which is not visible on the lens. But they are hard to find where the label is not peeled or cracked off as these were painted on. Tyco number 358D Maxwell House Center Flow Hopper. Introduced in 1974 and last cataloged in 1975. This colorful hopper had the shortest appearance of any of the center flows in Tyco's lineup. Also, this center flow is the only one where the catwalk on the roof is a different color than the rest of the center flow hoppers by Tyco. Tyco 358E Sanka Center Flow Hopper. Introduced in 1974 and last cataloged in 1978. This Tyco hopper is very colorful also. And many think the word caffeine is spelled wrong, but it is not. If you go look at the advertising on YouTube or Google it for the 70s, you'll find out it's still spelled that way today also. This center flow hopper is also very popular with collectors. These are the two known variations on the Sanka hopper. The first one is in the video you just watched. And the second one is the variation. The variation being the data graphics on the car. One has more and one has less. Look at the picture to see the difference. Photo by goingincircles.com. Thank you very much for allowing me to use this. This is the final car in the Tyco Center Flow series, number 358F, Old Dutch Cleanser, introduced in 1974 and last cataloged in 1977. This is the second variation on the Old Dutch Cleanser hopper, and the difference is in the graphic lettering on the car. I will show a double picture here in a second from goingincircles.com website. Here are both versions for comparison. The first one at the top which is the one in the video, is 358F, approximately 1974. And if you notice the red on the old Dutch cleanser logo is a little bit lighter, as is the lettering is more on the bottom of the car. And the second version on the bottom, the red's darker behind the old Dutch and the lettering is less. The photo is incorrect on the car number is the only error I see. And this is from uh, goingincircles.com website. Still a great reference guide there. If you need more information on comparison to Atherin, please visit goingincircles.com. In the Tyco Center Flow Hopper Series, number 358A and 358B, Morton Salt and Kellogg's had the longest run in the fleet.